Hi, this is Jason from Overhype Studios and today I'm going to show you our new build, Battle Brothers. And we're going to play a early game scenario, which we developed to showcase the early game of Battle Brothers. So you're going, you're going to see like really easy enemies and not a lot of equipment on my side. So let's just start and I'm going to focus on the gameplay So um, to make this a short one. You can see I positioned my brothers with the shields in front and the guy with the spear on the flank to just to protect my weaker guys in the back. You can see two guys with bows and three guys with just a single-handed weapon. They're pretty, pretty uh, damn weak, so you gotta better keep them protected. We're gonna start with uh, shooting some arrows at these at these friendly guys coming at us. So let's gonna give them a couple of quick shots. And we missed the first one and the second one. You can see um, we have uh, new sockets for our characters, which are very, um, very much more distinct. And you can see that they are different for friends and enemies. So we worked a little on that. And we have new weapon icons for all the, uh, all the weapons and a lot of fixes in the game and uh, improvements. So I'm going to try and move this guy, uh, move this guy around. Hopefully he's not getting attacked by any other enemies coming from, from the top. Same with this guy. Just keeping the distance. And um, I'm going to shoot some more arrows with this guy. I'm going to use a quick, um, the quick, the number one key to select the skill. So there we got a hit. You can see he lost a, um, uh, just a little bit of health, but not an awful lot. Gonna keep this guy at the back. So now we have someone who can effectively engage the zombie. We move into the zone of control. This is the red squares around here. And once we move in the enemy zone of control, we are not allowed to move any further. We can try to move out or move within it, but then he gets a free attack on us. We don't want that. So we'd better put a spear, a spear in his face, just like this. 80% to hit. It looks pretty good. Yeah, you can see him. He, we wounded him pretty badly, but he's he's still up. So this time we're going to finish him with this guy with the um, so just a simple slash attack. If he doesn't evade it, of course. We have another guy with a spear. It's very good to hold a lot of enemies at bay. Try and finish the zombie. There you go. Um, we we actually sped up the the turn um, sequence quite a lot, so uh, maybe I can show you a bit of more of gameplay this time around. Just move up our guys. Just have a look uh, down the road. There's some if you can spot uh, some enemies. Yeah, gonna keep this guy out of close combat. You maybe use him as a scout. Now you can see that this is the, actually a forest tile. You can see the, um, the the dead needles on the floor, and this is a grass tile. So um, when you move into the forest, you use a lot more of uh, action points. These are the action points. And you also gain a lot of fatigue that uh, gets you exhausted faster. And if you get into swamp, it's even worse. So you have to take that into account. In the swamp, you even get a, um, a combat penalty. So you should not fight there okay now let's get this guy we've got a pretty good chance to hit actually the spear has always a very good chance to hit but does not does less damage okay i think we can finish this guy with a with another and this guy with the short he actually has a with a sword sorry he has a repost skill and this, this is uh, you can activate it costs 4 ap and 25 fatigue to use it and any attack at this guy that that misses during the next turn he will get a counter attack so this is really good if you have high defense and, and you can evade attacks then you can get a lot of it counter attacks out of that skill okay now we finished that guy let's move on you really have to be careful not to put your um not to put your uh, ranged guys next to the dead zombies because they, they can actually stand up again, you never know. Uh, so I'm going to be careful and just move around the side. Now we're waiting if, if there's, uh, there's some more zombies coming into the game. Or just coming into sight. There you go. 
and uh, this is actually a zombie standing up. If I had moved the um, archer here, uh, he would have been in the zone of control and would not be able to use his um, uh, his ranged attack anymore. So that was quite a good decision. We have to make short work of this guy. He comes to life with like half health. So hopefully we can finish him quickly. Yes, nice attack. And we can also move on. Okay, so this guy seriously has to fall back a little because he's very weak without a shield and um, no other weapons. He will get <laughs> he will get mowed down. We will just scout ahead a little with this guy. Okay, so we move up our shield, shielded guys. We're moving up to here, or maybe even here. I'm not that afraid of the zombies because if you have a shield, then you're pretty, you you you're pretty much set. Also, you can use a shield wall, which I won't, um, and that increases really increases the defense a lot. Let's get our um, <coughs> archers in, in position. So next next round we're gonna we we will gonna let fly. Oh, that was actually a really good hit because the zombies are very slow and um, are very very easy opponents. Uh, they take a lot of hits and they also um, have a chance to stand up again. You really always have to account for that. Um, also in the game, there's a, like a zombie leader, a zombie duke, who has the ability to um, to increase the action points of the zombie. And um, if they, when that's happening, you really have to be careful. So this is a actually a shrubbery you can get in to it and then enemies won't see you. Uh, on the other hand, it's uh, enemies can also be in there. So um, you, you don't usually want to face check that bush, but there you go. So hopefully this guy won't be able to see me right there. Let's move into close combat and finish this guy. Okay, we're gonna shoot some arrows. Here you can see that the this tree is actually blocking my line of sight, which really decreases my chance to hit. So maybe I want to go for an aim shot. Pretty low as well, so I'm gonna move around, to around the tree to get a better shot. I use the action points, so no aim shot, but a quick shot. It missed. I'm pretty positive that I can finish this guy with my one spear, dude. Um, the road is very easy to walk on, so um, you are really fast on the road. I'm going to make use of that to support this guy in the front. The chance is just too low, I won't, won't take that shot. Um, in the finished game you will have ammo, ammunition for your bows, so um, you really have to consider if you want to, if you want to take the shot or not. Okay, let's get this guy down here. Let's just rush the zombie down. I'm pretty sure we can just take him. So the, the um, are all the knife weapons, or most knife weapons, actually have a, this backstab or puncture skill, and this ignores armor, which is very good against late game enemies. But um, in this case, the zombies are not armored heavily, so we just go with a stab. This one um, hit him. That's pretty good. Okay, let's get the spear guy. Maybe get him. I misclicked that one. Wanted to send him around. Sorry. Okay, now we're gonna get around the tree. Okay, now I, this guy is right right in in the line of fire. So I better not do that because you actually can hit your own guys. You really have to be aware of that, and it will happen. It will happen if you do if you want to try and take the shot. Uh, you will have situations where where you're shooting your own guys, and because we have perma death in the game, it's uh, like the worst situation you can have shooting your own guy, and you really want to avoid that. Maybe I can get a second guy up here. Yes. Okay, there's some more. Look what this guy is doing. Okay, he's trying to. Yeah, zombies are really um, pretty easy enemies and probably one of the first you will encounter in the game so um, you you can try to uh, you you it is probable that you that you will kill them with uh, not much of resistance didn't kill him though 
don't want to shoot because I don't want to hit my own guy. Or I get them into position to shoot at these guys coming down the road. And there you go. Just finishing that guy off. Move him down the road. Moving on the road is really quick. It doesn't cost you. It doesn't give you a lot of um, fatigue and also has a very low action point cost. Come on, finish this guy back here. Now we can move those guys up again, up as well. Maybe I just do a little pincer movement through the forest. And of course I discover some more enemies. And even though these zombies uh, look like, like they are not very um, frightening enemies, uh, they actually, if they manage to kill one of your guys, uh, that guy will come back as a zombie. And so you really <laughs> don't want that to happen. Let some arrows fly. You can see the little arrows hitting the ground left and right. And if somebody, somebody would, uh, would be staying there, then he actually would get hit by that arrow. Okay, move him down to protect our, um, our ranged units. Maybe even one further. And I'm going a bit like aggressive on these guys. So I want to speed things up a little. Um, he's not able to walk through here because the, this, this forest is hindering his movement. Yeah, let's let's get this guy. Okay, we're gonna engage this this guy in the uh, in the woods. We have, we have two guys with shields, and um, if you have a shield, you're pretty well protected. <laughs> Trying to bite me there? Oh, he actually did. He hit the um, hit the uh, the armor. Luckily, no health damage. There you go. Another guy standing up. Okay, again, bash him down. <laughs> This is like a special feature of the club. Um, this guy is uh, armed with a club and it has a low chance, at, uh, actually 30% chance of stunning an enemy if, if he's hit. So this is very lucky and this gets very important in the later game. When you get like a vampire or something and you manage to stun him, uh, then, you, then you are pretty, um, in a pretty decent spot. Okay, just... Those guys just let fly with their attacks. It's got like a, a Zax, it's called. It's a, a Nordic knife with a, uh, with a sharp edge. Notice that I, I cannot move up to here because um, to, to make room for this guy. Because then I would move in the zone of control and he would get a free attack on me. I, I don't want that. So I'm just going to make some quick stabs. Hope that we get the zombie here fast. Okay, we actually cannot shoot into the melee because um, we don't want to hit our own guys just like before. So move, move them up. Maybe they can spot a distant target and can take a shot at that. <laughs> Actually, right now I'm just begging for some of my guys to get killed, but we're just gonna we're just gonna play it like this. Sorry for that sound. Okay, now this guy stands up again, and he got to my both of my archers pinned. That was a really big mistake I made there, because now they are pinned. They cannot move out of the zone of control without getting hit. They have no armor at all, just a cloth loin. Uh, they cannot shoot, and until I get rid of this guy, I'm in a really bad position. Also here you can see um, one of the tougher zombies. He's got a zombie human. He's got a lot of body armor. So hit to the head would help um, because we have two, uh, two distinct hit zones. Hit to the head uh, would um, yeah, go directly to, to his hit points. And he also has an axe and then with an axe he can destroy shields and he will, he will make use of that skill. Okay, get rid of this guy to free up our um, archers. <laughs> Come on. Nice. So now we're really making short work of these guys. Okay, maybe I'm gonna get my archers into a elevated position. Like just on like on this hill. Because they um, uh, being on a hill will increase their um, their range and also uh, how far they can see and that's a really big plus and also their chance to hit so 
on Archer being on an elevated position is really important. Concentrate on this guy and then unite with the others. I really don't want to face this human uh, just with those two guys, it would be crazy. Come on, finish it. Well done. And now we're gonna move into position to engage this guy. And if, if now it looks like we have enough um, guys to just focus, focus on this zombie, so he will be uh, dead pretty quickly. He's trying, actually he's pretty smart, not going down this way. He's trying to avoid my, my archers. Because he knows he, they, the archers are gonna shoot him up. Okay, now I've spotted a lot of, a lot more zombies. Hopefully I can shoot them before before they get too close to me. So now having, uh, you can see here if, if there's guys on a higher or lower elevation, on the higher elevation, you can just click on the portrait and jump to jump to the according height level. Okay, this guy will try to protect the archers. And he will just do what he does best and just swing his club. Okay, move on. And this is, this is a bit stupid to, to engage. Uh, maybe I just retreat to the high ground. And um, because if you're on the high ground, you can actually uh, have a um, better chance to hit. And also uh, you are not hit easily. This guy has a spear, so he's gonna make use of that. He's gonna use a spear wall. If the zombie comes close to him, next round enters the zone of control, then he has, gets a free attack on him. So we're gonna do that. And also, if it hits, the zombie is pushed back. I really don't don't want a guy with the with the axe close to the shield. He will destroy it. Just move up, like so. Okay, they are all going to the left side. Just have to make short work of this guy with the archers. There you saw the spear the spear wall attack. And it's actually possible to have it hit multiple times. Oh no, no Now this is what you really need if you're in a situation like this is another zombie standing up. You, you really don't want that to happen. And there you saw the spear wall hit him two times and spear wall is really good if you are, if you are, have a weak defense and you want to keep enemies away. He lost all his body armor, which is, is pretty much he's, he got a mail shirt or something. And you really want to use a spear wall just like I did there. Okay, they have uh, really in danger because uh, this guy will make short work of them. Just gonna pounce him with arrows. Just like doing a little machine gun over here. Nice shot, hopefully you can finish him. Nope. But I'm gonna put the spear guy in front. And do the, uh, the spear wall. So if it, when he walks up to him, to them, he's gonna get uh, pushed back. Just moving up and trying to get rid of this guy in the back. Snap. Okay, he, he's in a good spot. He's gonna stay there. He's gonna do a quick attack on the zombie. Nice. And now he's good using the repost skill. And I explained that earlier. So if the zombies, the zombies are not very good to hit, um, uh, have a very low chance to hit, so um, it's very likely that he will you get to use this skill. He use this guy to get rid of the zombie. Oh. Snap. So I have to waste an attack. Uh, that was lucky because now I can use the spear wall again, and hopefully uh, I managed to kill the yeoman man with it. So I get uh, then I killed him without him getting any attacks off. That would be great, just like that. Awesome. There was the repost, he missed his attack and I killed him and he moved into the spear wall again. Here you can see um, how actually using uh, come on, how using the tactics, the elevation and the um, respective equipment of the Battle Brothers, you can actually freely equip anyone. So um, you can um, you have an uh, inventory system just like in um, Diablo or any other RPG. And you can you have slots for body armor, head armor, left hand, right hand, so on. So you can freely choose the equipment. This is just a random setup we use for this scenario. So um, let's finish these guys off then. I'm pretty positive that there are not a lot, not a lot left. I won't do that. Just move over here and move.
move over here. Now I'm really positive that we can actually uh, manage to finish this scenario uh, quickly. Uh, he's in the way, tree is in the way. You can see how far he can actually shoot from the hill. So we're gonna take a shot at this guy. Snap, there he goes. I don't like uh, the chance of actually hitting one of my own guys. <laughs> Too many bad experiences. Ah, what the hell, just go for it. Yes, nice one. I hope this is, this is the last zombie, then uh, the, we finish the scenario in time. And you get a pretty good idea of um, what uh, Battle Brothers plays like, what tactics to employ, how the um, environment is actually uh, used against the enemies and against you. Enemies will use it against you. Um, and yeah, there you go. So I'm not going to look for the last skeleton. This is a bit like in the old XCOM, uh, hunting that last sectoid. But um, yeah, there you go. Stay tuned for the next video and cheers.